Hello, I am Venuga Balan, retired from Sri Karoma College Trishur, under the University of Calicut. Now a faculty member at Dr. John Mathai Center for Management Studies Trishur and at Shakhtanamuran College for Mathematics and Commerce Trishur. Today, I am going to discuss another chapter in Management Studies that is transportation problem. In every situation, the objective of management studies is minimization of cost for maximization of profit. In this chapter also, the prime objective is to minimize the cost of transporting units from different origins, destinations, supply centers to different demand sectors at the minimum cost. And this chapter, Transportation Problem, is an application of linear programming. And again, the prime importance is of minimization of cost for maximization of profit. So, Transportation Problem is a problem of linear programming. That's a problem of decision making. That's a problem of optimization as the chapters discussed earlier. Just like per CPM, etc., this is the problem of decision making, optimization. The special optimization is minimization of cost under minimum cost. Then I am going to uh, display the transportation problem. It is denoted by TP in further discussion. What is the primary objective of the problem? That is minimization of transportation cost of transporting U items from different production centers to different destinations. The production centers are as the supply centers and the destinations is the demand. Where the items are produced is the supply centers. Where the items are demanded is the demand sectors. So we have two sectors, namely supply sector, demand sector and the prime objective is to minimize the cost of transporting units from supply centers to demand sectors. So what is the requirement? What is the condition? The first condition is all demands are to be satisfied at minimum cost. Different demand sectors are there. All their demands are to be satisfied and the prime objective is at minimum cost. So what are the conditions? What are the conditions? The conditions in such subjects are termed as constraints constraints. The first constraint and the prime constraint is the problem should be a balanced problem balanced. So we have two sectors supply and demand. The total supply and total demand at different sectors should be equal. That is the prime requirement that is constraint. The total demand is equal to total supply. The different sectors are supplied items, different states are demanded items, both are equal, it is called balanced transportation problem. Then a condition is that, that should be the cost of transporting a unit, a unit, a single unit from a production center to a destination is certain, that is constant and to be known in advance, that is the Condition, it is termed as constraint. So that is the minimum requirement of a transportation problem. So what is our objective to minimization? So we have to get a solution. A linear programming, just like a linear programming problem, transportation problem is also needed a solution. And there are two levels of solution, two levels. The first level is a feasible solution. A feasible solution means a solution satisfying supply and demand conditions. Supply are available, demand are the satisfying these two. Then in that situation, the minimization is not achieved or not concentrated. The only concentration is satisfying demand and supply. It is called the feasible solution. The second one is what is the prime objective? Minimization. So optimal solution it is called optimal solution. That is a feasible solution. Optimal means a feasible. A feasible solution which minimizes 
total transportation cost. All feasible solutions need not be optimal, but an optimal is always a feasible solution. And there is a special case of transportation problem that is unbalanced. We termed a problem should be a balanced one, balanced one when demand is equal to supply. That is when demand and supply are different, not equal. It is called unbalanced. And one more condition for solving a transportation problem, it should be balanced. That is the total demand should be equal to or it is to be adjusted by adding dummy, dummy by adding dummy supply center or dummy demand as the problem demands. I am illustrating a transportation problem or transportation table. The components are where the items are available. That is termed as origin or production centers. The other one is where the items are demanded. It is called destinations. destinations. In this illustration, there are three units of production. S1, S2, S3. They are termed as origin or production centers. And this is the total availability, supply or availability, 250 at the first center, 300 at the second center, and 400 at the third center. And the total is 950. And here, 11 is the unit cost of transporting one, 16, and the unit of transporting from S2 to D1, etc. That is known in advance. Then D1, the first sector of demand, the demand is 200. 225, 275, 250 and total is equal to 950. In this problem there are there are 1, 2, 3, 3 rows, rows denoted by M. M is equal to 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 columns. N is equal to 4. This is the total. This is not included. This is not included. 1, 2, 3, 4 row columns. 1, 2, 3, 3 rows. That is a mathematical terminology. R O W S and mathematical C O L U M E N S mathematical terminology. Rows and columns, horizontal and vertical. That is more sufficient for management students. This is the management students. This is the row and this is the column. This is horizontal and this is vertical. This Speciality of this problem is the total supply is equal to demand. This is called balanced problem. Balanced demand is equal to supply. Balanced one. And we are going to determine how much is to be transported from the first supply center to first destination. How much is to be transported from S1 to D2, S1 to D3 at the minimum cost. The objective is to minimization of cost. That is this is a transportation problem and we are solving it how much is to be transported from S1 to D1, S1 to D2 etc. at the minimum cost. Therefore, the solution is attained at two levels. One is, one is feasible solution and the other is optimum solution. Feasible solution means a solution satisfying demand and supply conditions. The total demand is 950, total supply is 950. And these conditions are to be satisfied. Here it is 250 are supplied, 200 are demanded. Only satisfying demand supply conditions. It is called feasible solution. Feasible. And there are three methods for feasible solution. One is northwest corner rule. Second is lowest cost entry method. And third is Vogel's approximation method. Usually or generally known as VAM, Vogel's approximation method. There are three methods for initial solution. That is a solution form. It is also called initial basic feasible solution. Symbolically, initial basic feasible solution IBFS, initial basic feasible solution. And there are two more conditions for attaining a solution or the sub terms. That is, M is equal to number of rows, N is the number of columns, M plus N minus 1. If the number of allocations in this cells is n plus n minus 1, it is called non-degeneracy, non-degeneracy. Otherwise, it is called, if it is n plus n minus 1, n plus n minus 1, 
is non degeneracy if the number of allocations is not equal to n plus n minus 1 it is called the case of degeneracy that will illustrate or explain later with respect to that problem please listen is two terms only now non degeneracy and degeneracy then now concentrating to this problem i am going to solve the problem by north west corner rule find an initial basic feasible solution by north west corner rule that's a method for obtaining initial solution so follow me with respect to this problem and now we are going to solve a problem of transportation by north west corner rule to obtain an initial basic feasible solution a solution satisfying supply and demand conditions not for optimization or not for the minimum cost in this problem consists of three origins s1 s2 s that means there are three centers for supply items and this problem consisting of 1 2 3 4 destinations so number of rows is 3 and number of columns is 4 the horizontal 3 vertical 4 250 means the total supply or availability at origin 1 300 at origin 2 3 400 at origin 3 supply that is the supply centers and total is 950 and these availabilities are this and the demand are 200, 225, 275, 250 total is 950 and 11, 13, 17 etc are the cost of transporting a unit from S1 to D1, S1 to D2, first origin to first destination and so on and the speciality of this problem or the significance of this problem is that total in both ways by horizontal and vertical ways are same same so it is called a balanced transportation problem balanced the problem is balanced that is the minimum requirement for balanced tp is the minimum requirement for obtaining an initial solution then we are going to move this method by north to west starting from the northwest corner rule and moving onwards this is the northwest corner the first corner element is 11 11 and the corresponding supply is 250 corresponding demand is 200 here we are going to allocate the maximum 200 is the demand 250 is supply so we can allocate only 200 so this demand sector is completed the, re the remaining demand is zero that means this destination is considered completely the destination is deleted for further calculations so here the remaining is 50 50 so what about the total through 200 is allocated the total is 750 etc that's not to be considered that is automatically adjusted then here we are moving to the next cell moving to this point here 225 is the demand 50 is the supply Allocate maximum possible 250. This 50 is reduced to 0. Here 225 is reduced to 175. Then move to the next cell. Either horizontally or downward vertically or diagonally. Here now we are moving to this direction. The demand is 175. Supply is 300. Allocate maximum. Allocate maximum. The maximum is 175 175 plus 50 225 this is over here the balance is 125 then moving to the right moving to this core cell 275 and 125 how much is allo can be allocated the maximum the maximum is 125 but therefore the total is reduced to zero here that is 150 balance is 150 then we are going to downward allocate maximum possible that is 150 the allocated possible value is 150 then this is reduced to zero this is reduced to 250 move to the next cell the total allocation is 250 250 so starting from north to the score we conclude we reach this area and the total demand requirement satisfied and this Problem. This method is known as 
north west corner rule the next step is the next step is the calculation of the total cost the total cost required by this method is <coughs> each cost is multiplied by the allocation so this is the allocation table by the north west corner rule the allocation is completed 200 here 50 here the total is 250 200 the total is 200 50 plus 175 225 125 plus 150 275 250 150 plus 250 400 175 plus 125 300 200 plus 50 250 that is the availability and the requirement conditions are satisfied this is an initial solution so what is the available cost the total cost required for satisfying availability and requirement conditions by northwest corner rule is 11 into 200 11 into 200 plus 13 into 50 plus 18 into 175 plus 14 into 125 plus 13 into 150 plus 10 into 250 which is equal to 12,200 that is the so many rupees are required to satisfy this my total 950 of supply and total 950 of demand at different destinations that is 200 are to be transported from A to D and so on and one more thing here there are four one two three three rows m is equal to three three origin that is given in row and one two three four number of columns number of columns is four then how many allocations are there one two three four five six that is six is equal to three plus four minus one that is theoretically m plus n minus one that condition is satisfied here therefore this is an initial basic feasible solution thank you dears the this session is culminating at this point let us meet again at that session we discuss the two other methods one is lowest cost entry method other is vogel's approximation method one once more this is a method of deriving initial basic feasible solution satisfying requirement available this is not optimum for optimum we are we have another method namely modified distribution method or simply modi m o d i thank you thank you